So, you installed Tiny11 on your laptop or computer. And what will you do next? Today, I will help you with this. The thing is, even after installation Tiny11, you still need to do some simple steps and after this process, your system will work stably. On the internet, I saw a lot of comments, how to install drivers, how to install browser because after installation you will not see any browser because microsoft edge browser is not installed by default in tiny 11. for people who don't know tiny 11 is based on original windows 11 pro iso file so literally it is the same windows 11 but they remove a lot of Windows components. And even now, it must work faster. Before this video start, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. So let's get started. My friends, we are in Tiny 11.22H2 version. If we click on the start menu, here you may see Microsoft Store, Photos, Settings, Calculator, Notepad, Paint, and file manager everything is very simple we have only few apps i think it's not top secret information that this is windows 11 but without trash so first of all i recommend to go to the settings and check for the latest updates you need to find windows update here click on it so definitely i recommend to check for the latest updates it is very important after you get the latest updates, I recommend to do next. You need to find this section, Privacy and Security. You need to click on it. And we want to check if the Microsoft Defender is activated. So for this, you need to click here. Then you need to scroll down a little bit and find Manage Settings. You need to click on it. It is Microsoft Official Antivirus and it is installed by default. So be sure to check all of this option. So now we can close this window. If you install Tiny11, you click here and probably the first thing that you want to do is to install browser. But the thing is, you don't have Microsoft Edge browser. So how to install browser in Tiny11? Actually, it is very simple. So I have two simple ways how to install browser. The first way is quite easy. We just need to click on the Microsoft Store. Don't be afraid if you don't use a Microsoft account. As you can see, I'm using a local account. So click on the Microsoft Store. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. And then we can type next here. Browser. And press enter. And from here we can install Microsoft Edge Browser, Brave Browser, Opera Browser, it all depends on you. But probably many of you have very interesting question. Where is the Google Chrome Browser? So actually you can't find Google Chrome Browser in the Microsoft Store. But I will show you one interesting method to install Google Chrome Browser using Terminal. So for this we need to close this window. Now I will open quite useful text document. We need to copy this command. Command will be in the video description. So we need to click on the right mouse button. Copy. Now we can close this window. And you need to click here on search icon. Then you need to type next. Terminal. Here you may see terminal. We need to click on it. Then you need to click on the right mouse button and it will automatically pass the text that we previously copy and then you need to press enter wait a few minutes and as you can see it automatically download the latest version also i want to mention one important thing if in the installation process in the terminal you will see message do you want to install google chrome browser yes or no you need to type y and press enter after this, it will automatically install Google Chrome browser on our laptop or computer. Everything is very easy. And what do we see here? Successfully installed. That's mean we installed Google Chrome browser. So after that, I recommend to type next. Exit and press enter. Voila! We have Google Chrome browser. So now we can open it. 
and here you may see that we have the latest version. Okay, and probably the last and the most important thing that you need to do is to check if all drivers is installed. So for this another time we need to click on the search icon, click here and we need to type next. Device Manager. Need to click on it. Actually we can use two simple ways to install drivers on your device. So first method, we can try to update drivers. You can click on the missing driver, then click on the right mouse button, select update driver and click here. Search automatically for drivers. As you can see, the first method not always work. So we can close this window. The thing is, Windows 11 automatically search for some drivers. For the example, if we click on the display driver, you may see Intel HD Graphics 4000 and literally Windows automatically detect and install this driver on my computer. But these four drivers we need to manually install. And to install it we can go to the Google Chrome browser. And now I will type next. Lenovo L430 drivers and press enter. So now I need to go to the official Lenovo website to find all necessary important drivers for my laptop. Actually on the most websites you can find this option, automatic update. Let's try to use it, click on it, wait a few minutes, download. In my case I need to run this application and after that it will automatically detect and install drivers. Click next click finish. I want to be honest with you right now I'm showing how to update automatically and now I also will show you how to manually install the right drivers for your model. Also it will be much better if you enter the serial number of your laptop. My friends as you can see it installed all necessary important drivers and now I don't have any missing driver. But if you still see the missing driver you can try to manually install driver. For this you can select this option manually update. Also I want to remind you that I use unsupported laptop so it will be much better if I chose Windows 10 64 bit. But if your laptop or computer support Windows 11 officially, you can just select Windows 11 and find the right driver. If you have a PC, you can do the same process, but you need to enter the model of your motherboard. So you can type Asus motherboard drivers and find all necessary important drivers. Also, I want to show you one useful tip to find the missing driver. For the example, if you see the camera driver is missing, you can click on the right mouse button, choose this option, go to the details, click here and you need to select device instance path. Click on it. In this case, you need to copy this message and then you need to insert it here in the browser. And what do we see here? Camera driver. After this process you can just go to the website from which you want to download the missing driver, select camera and that's all. You can download the missing driver. My friends, I think it will be more than enough for today. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it and if you want to know how to run Tiny11 from your USB stick, literally it is portable Windows 11. I recommend to click here on this video.